lid is off. Uh, we've got Tormox marketing crates, so uh, if you guys buy one of these, it'll it'll be a little different. We had to lift that lid off, and I had to get some help, and that wasn't able to happen on camera, but here she is. I don't even know what the exact specs are. I think this is one of their beta units, so don't, uh, I, I, I'll try to keep folks up to date so we don't mismanage any expectations on, you know, the enclosure or what's, uh, what's it is, but uh, gotta get this thing off the pallet, lift it up and onto the bench. All right, folks, here it is. Okay, so I turned it on. I've got PathPilot up. Super easy to uh, hook this thing up, to unpack it. I, uh, I know I've got, uh, this is a marketing machine from Tormox, so I think I've got to actually send this one out later on, but I already bought my own 440, uh, which will be more of what you're gonna see if you buy one in terms of unpacking it. So we'll cover that as well. But let's, uh, I hit reset. We haven't jogged the machine yet. You know, it's got the wood block and the spindle. Let's page up <laughs> okay Oops. there we go sweet wow okay so um i'm super oh oops i bumped the camera sorry um I'm super excited to make some chips with this thing. I'm gonna do this though. I am going to say goodbye and I'm gonna spend a few hours with it, whipping up some speeds and feeds and recipes and all that stuff. So I will be back as soon as I possibly can uh, with a video for you guys. I wanna get one out soon, but I also wanna know what I'm talking about and have an actual opinion. I am excited for this machine and I will talk more about that later. Uh, as for now, folks, take care. See you soon. On second thought, that wouldn't be very nice. So let's take a quick cut. Two things. One, holy smokes, this thing rapids fast. I'm telling you, it, it just, I know it's about the same inch per minute as the big machine. Actually, it's a little faster, but I'll just tell you, because it's a smaller footprint, it is fast. The other thing is that we are going to take this cut 0.45 inches deep. So that's about there. 50 thou width of cut, and that's again 0.45 depth of cut, 10 thousand rpms and 55 zero inches a minute we're not even coming close to the horsepower limits the only thing i'm going to throw out folks is as you can see this is literally the first cut i've made there are a couple chips in there from where this machine i think it was at the maker fair in new york we have not cut a thing with it if it has a problem that's just because of the coolant you you need uh coolant not so much for cooling purposes but for chip evacuation we talk about it in our video on cnc coolant basics so if i have to stop it and slow down that's the only reason why so much more to come but i figure let's go into the weekend with some chips here so i've got all my coordinates set up um godspeed let's see well what the hell let's go <laughs> Are you kidding me? Guys, holy cow. Can you see these chips flying? Look at this. Look at the, oh my God, look at that finish. I hope these chips show up, oh my God. Look at that. Look at that chip stream. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, folks? 10,000 RPMs, four or five inch depth of cut, 50 thou width of cut, 50 inches a minute. Win. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
what's amazing is, I can't wait to pull this part out and show you guys. This is spectacular. It may, may also be a testament to the fact that I need to do some maintenance on my 1100. Not that there's anything wrong with how it's cutting at all, but this is, this is freaking incredible. Shout out to uh, Lakeshore Carbide too. This is that uh, tool 31 for us, which is a quarter inch, three flute end mill dedicated for aluminum with the ZRN coating. Works great. Holy cow. Done. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh shoot. Well, that's not a, it doesn't do a finished surface on the side there. You saw it when it was cutting, but that bottom surface is silky smooth, folks. Silky freaking smooth. Um, sorry, the lighting is going to be horrendous for this. The um, pretty quick cut time. So, oh my gosh, for you guys out there that are wondering, is this thing going to cut it? Uh, well, much, much, much more to come on aluminum and sheer hogging and steel and all that, but uh, that just blew my socks off. Holy smokes. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> Look at all the chips. Look at the size of that chip, folks. That is freaking awesome. That is, that is great. Nice depth of cut, um, thinner width of cut, cooking. Look at all, oh, hold on. Look at all those chips, folks. Oh my God, this thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. All right, folks, take care. I will see you soon.